uh, Professor Liu is going to teach you how to do the chapter one project. This project is a random number guessing game. So you need to write a program that generate a random number between one to a hundred, and ask the user to guess what number it is. If the user's guess is high, higher than the random number, the program should display too high. Try again. If the user guess is lower than the random number, the program should display too low. Try again. The program should use a loop that repeat until the user correctly guess the random number. Then the program uh, should display display congratulations. You figured out my number. Make sure the program display the number of guess guesses along with the message of congratulations. When the user correctly gets the random number, the program should display the number of guesses along with the message of congratulations. All right, so let's start this program. I already start with Visual Studio. In the Visual Studio, uh, I already create a project called Chapter 1 Project. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do uh, my source file right now. So I'm going to add a <coughs> new item. And C++. So let me call this uh, chapter one project. Okay, so match with my name right now. So that's called chapter one project. All right. All right, so uh, that's started right now. So let's have a golden seven line. Uh, the reason I'm going to use a random number, so I need to include theta. So first of all, um, we are going to uh, prompt the user, uh, we, we need to have two numbers, so it's integer get, okay? So first we are going to guess this is a computer number, sorry. So the computer number is, uh, will be a number guessed by, uh, the com generated by computer. Then we are also going to get something is from the user okay so we are going to say <coughs> guess none guess the the human beings guess so let's start from here right now so first uh we are going to uh uh has the random number so we're going to generate random number uh between one to a hundred. All right. So before I generate that, then uh, I need to have S rain, and I'm going to use current time as my C. I need to do that. So I have this right now. So uh, S rain is a uh, new seat. So I use the current time as my seat. Now I'm going to uh, get my uh, my computer time right now okay so my computer time is going to <coughs> hold on so my computer time is going to guess by the computer number uh, so I'm going to say remember this is uh, <coughs> let me um, guessing is one one the range well, one plus uh, and um, I'm going to say ren and mod by. Uh, sorry, let me write down here. This is minima, and this will be maxima minus minima 
plus one. Okay, that's a formula. Okay, so based on that, right now one to a hundred, so minimum is one. So put one right here, and uh, ran. Okay, mod, oh, uh, mod by, mod by. All right. So maximum is one hundred minus one plus one. Okay. Oh, sorry, plus one. All right. I know you was tell me that that's no brainer. Uh, minus one plus one is one hundred. But I want you write like this way, cause I need you to know that you know the formula. So first, let's get uh write it out our CL, our computer. Um, the random number. At uh, this number later, we're going to this statement. We're going later. We're going to delete it. Okay, the random number. Mm, All right, so that will be a uh, computer num. Okay. All right. So now let's run it right now. So first, let's our computer be able to generate a random number. So I build it, and start without <coughs> debugging. So I got the random number is eighty three. Okay. So first, I'm okay right now. I was able to create a random number between one to one hundred. Okay, so once next one, I'm I'm going to uh ask the user ask the user to give me a number. Okay, so first now explain the game to the user. All right, uh, and get uh users uh um first guess as. Right here, right now. Okay, so uh, then we we going to tell the the user. Now explain the game. Okay, so I am going to ah uh, sorry, I am ah uh, thinking because a uh, computer thinking, thinking ah uh, of a number between one to a hundred. Okay, so first tell the user that. Uh, can you uh, guess what is what what it is? All right, can you guess that? And um, enter um your guess. All right. So we enter the guess right now. Okay. Uh, now I can even do if you want them to enter next line, you put end end up line. Okay, so now we are going to uh do this. Okay, seeing. All right. Uh, your guess. Okay, so that's a guess right now. All right. So uh, <clears throat> let me see how uh. So so right now you have a random number. You have guess. That's wrong right now. So build it. Start without debugging. All right. So now it's twenty one. But let me show you how do you guess this kind of thing. If I want to do a one one to a hundred, the best way is cut to half. Okay. This is called binary. So let's try fifty. All right. So try fifty and uh if not, it tell me it's too high fifty. It's really too high. Then I'll cut to half. So this kind of guessing game is called binary guessing game. Binary guessing game. So you are going to use a binary guessing game. You're going to continue try the guess. And what you need to do is, as long as my guess is not equal to my computer num, I'm going to continue to guess. When you do this kind of guessing game, you will stop when you get a number. And so you are going to use while. So tap over, type while, and tap over. While what is true, you're going to say my guess, whatever my guess is not equal to my computer num. As long as it's not equal to computer num, and I'm inside this loop. I'm inside this loop, and I'm inside this loop. And this use a binary guessing game. So user like me, I usually. Uh, we'll guess the halfway. 
one to a hundred. So this is called intelli- intelligent guessing. You don't want to just guess randomly. Ha- binary guessing is the best. Okay. So you say if, and I'm going to say, all right, my guess. All right. So if my guess, I guess guess is greater than a、uh, computer num. Okay. So if is if this is true, then Uh, I am going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to say C L. All right.、Uh, your guess、uh, is too high. Oh, hold on. That's no good. All right. So I'm type guess. Oh, let me do like this. Quotation. Your、uh, guess. Um, is too high. All right, so I'll let you know that it's too high right now. And I'm going to ask you, uh, sorry, so <clears throat> I'm going to ask you try a smaller. And uh, whenever you do like that, what you need to do, you try to get halfway between the that number and your guess. Just right now, the guessing and and the random number. Okay, so you are going to do this. Okay, so um else. So if if um if guess is that too high, and you say this. Okay. All right. So uh else else, and I'm going to uh see how. Copy here. Then I'm、uh, is too low. <clears throat> uh, obviously, you should try a larger number. Okay, try a larger number. All right. So once they finish this, okay. Once they finish this, and we have to ask them to. Uh, to enter the uh n- the number again, okay. So the right here, the C in guess here need to be control C. But guess while loop need to have two re. This is your first re. This is second re. But your second re you don't need to give the question anymore is because they are doing the same thing. All right. So once right here, right now, once right here. So as soon as they finish, once they finish their loop, that means they got a number. Is that right? So C L congrat congratulations. All right. So give give them uh uh some a、uh, good、uh, congratulations. Okay, you got my number. All right, uh, you got it. Okay. My number was computer num. All right, so let's run it right now. So we're going to build it, and we're going to start without debugging. So, ah,、uh, so we know the random number is eighty-six, but we're going to delete it. I'm thinking about number between one to a hundred. At this moment, you should try the halfway between one and one hundred. So I try fifty. That's a correct way. Now it's too low, so you want to try the halfway between fifty to one hundred. So you want to try seventy-five. So still too low. So you need to try between seventy-five, seventy-five, ah,、uh, seventy-five to one hundred. That's eighty-two point five. So I'm going to try eighty-three because we do integer. All right, so eighty-three is too too still too low. 
So you need right now you need to try eighty three between eighty three uh to one hundred. Okay, so this way you will try ninety. Okay, probably yeah, I'll, I'll try ninety. Now it's too high right now. So I know eighty three is too low and uh ninety is too high. Eighty three is too low and ninety is too high. So between eighty three and ninety, I want to do the halfway. So ninety subtract eighty three is three. So I do the halfway. Now I do try eighty six. Congratulations, you got it. My number is eighty six. Now we fin before we finish. I need you to understand this step one right now. So this is step one. You are able to get this random number again. All right, so uh, we'll continue step two.